We all wear a mask once we get out of our homes and comfort zones to cover up the real us. Why? Because we're all afraid of being judged. Today, I'm throwing mine away. My name is Bahar Jaff. I'm an entrepreneur, an investor, a life coach, and a single mom. Till now, because of circumstances, I have started my life with a blank page three times. But I have succeeded because I made a choice to succeed. I'll be talking about the chain of balance and its ingredients. Balance is not something we have or we find. It's something we create. So what does balanced living mean? Balanced living means you have to consider all aspects of your life. And what are these aspects? It's physical, mental, emotional, social, financial, and spiritual. And what do these aspects need? Let's start with physical. You have to be willing to have a healthy body, mind, and soul life. Because this, at the end, will determine the quality of your lifestyle. Mental. In order to be mentally stable, you need patience. You have to give all the time you need to recognize who you are, to heal, to build, and to grow in life. Emotional. This is all about passion. Passion is the mother of all emotions. You tell me, how can you be balanced if you're not passionate about what you do in life anymore? It's impossible. Social. It's all about people. Approaching with love is so much more powerful than approaching with hate. Be loving, be caring, be considerate to yourself and to others. Because people see, hear, and feel every single emotions and energy you put out there. And this will affect your life in so many ways. <sighs> Financial. This needs determination. You have to be determined to reach a certain level of financial security in life. With hard work, creativity, strategy, and not giving up. Spiritual. I have to say, this one was a hard one for me, because I was a very practical person. One plus one is two. I thought it was easier like that. But life is so much more meaningful when you believe in energy, in your inner powers, and the greater good. So now, what are the ingredients of a balanced living? It's will, patience, passion, love, determination, and belief. All these points are connected to each other in a chain. If you concentrate on one or neglect one, you'll break the chain. And it's just a matter of time for a chain reaction, because the balance is broken. Common sense, isn't it? If you want peace in your life, you have to focus on incorporating balance in your daily living. Today, I stand here on this stage not for me. I stand here for you. So I don't want you just to listen to what I say. I want you to feel what I mean. First, I'm going to tell you how I use these ingredients in my own personal life. At a certain point of my life, I was depressed, powerless and broken. My life meant nothing. I couldn't think clearly anymore. And one day, I went to the rooftop of my parents' house, and I looked down, 
And I thought, I could end all this. This all could be over. And suddenly, I heard my daughter crying. She kept crying, and nobody was going to comfort her. And while struggling with my own demons, these thoughts came up. How? How am I going to leave her in this cruel world? How am I not going to be there when she cries? How am I going to abandon her? Her crying saved my life that day, and she has been saving me every day since. That's when I decided to leave Kurdistan and everything I built behind with two one-way tickets, shadow of an old me, to a Netherlands that I didn't recognize anymore. It was a horrifying decision diving into the unknown, but I had no choice but to believe in the greater good. And that's when my healing and spiritual self-growth journey started. See, life never gives up on us. We give up on ourselves. You will always be judged. You'll be judged by your look, how you sit, how you stand, your dreams, your achievement, even your struggles. Don't make time and space for complaining, regret, and wasting time. You have to always think how to improve yourself and take actions on it. The first step of taking action is organizing. You need a strategy in life in order to be balanced. When I decided to work on myself, I had nothing but myself and the internet. So I started reading more, watching documentaries, listening to people's stories and get inspired by them. I was looking for guidance everywhere. I was searching for a balance. But the problem was, I couldn't find it. And then I realized something. Along the way, I lost my passion. So again, how can you be passionate about life? How can you be balanced if you're not passionate about life anymore? This time, I was determined to rise. I had to learn again who I was at age of 40, what I wanted, and what were my capabilities. That's when strategy started kicking in. So how did I do that? For some reason, I got inspired and wanted to be part of the concept of the 5 a.m. club. I needed something to shock my whole system. So I started waking up every single morning at 5 a.m., go for an hour walk run while listening to motivational speeches, and then another hour meditate. Every single day, filter my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, and my goals. That was a routine I stuck to before doing my actual day till this day. So what happened? After about five, six weeks, things started to clear up. I started visualizing again, looking at life from a total different perspective. I started putting down deadlines, taking courses, engaging with people that would only inspire me or feed my soul with positivity. After a while, I started being stable, opportunities were showing up, this was definitely working for me. By filtering yourself in such way helps your mind and soul to clear up. You start building, accepting, and loving this new you. By the way, this process doesn't come with glitters and unicorns. It's hard, it's intense, and believe me, it's very exhausting to confront yourself every single day. It took me more than one and a half years to get to the start that I wanted. It needed a lot of patience and time. 
So by using these ingredients, I managed to create for myself a balanced life. This was about me. Now, I'm going to tell you how I use these same ingredients on a wild animal. We have here Mr. Fox. Once a while, I take a break from my hectic life. This time, I rented a chalet in the middle of nowhere. And at night, what I thought it was a dog turned out to be a fox. It was cold, he was hungry, but he was too scared. I tried to feed him, but he ran away. But because of my passion for animals, I couldn't let go. I truly believed that I could change him. So I started leaving food for him outside, and I would be behind the window and just watch him how he would eat. And after a while, I needed to build some trust. So I need to go outside, which I did. There was a little bit of progress. He came, but he was still too scared and he needed deeper trust. By showing him love, I gave him that space he needed. I respected that. Then I had to be creative because I wanted more. And because I saw that little bit of progress, now I was determined to change him. So I gave him some chicken shawarma and cheese, and he loved it. And our bonding started that night, to be honest. No, that's not working. Yeah. You see how he loved it? <laughs> And how I know, next day, he started waiting for me in the morning. That was another progress. So I thanked him by a slice of pizza. Now, I was definitely not giving up. Every step, I'm seeing a progress. It was time for barbecue. He caught the smell, and he came. And then, this happened. He started taking the food from my hands. He was enjoying the chicken very much. He was still confused. And he wouldn't understand all these new feelings that were happening. He was trying to approach. I was scared. It's not working. <laughs> he was confused. I was, I was scared because at the end, it's a wild animal. But the will was much bigger and stronger than the fear. I needed more from him. I needed to invest more time, more food, and have more patience to get what I wanted. And then, we became friends. And he started guarding my place till the day we left. So with the same ingredients, I managed to change and tame a scared wild animal to be my guardian. And of course, I couldn't have achieved that if I wasn't balanced. So can you imagine what you can do with these ingredients in life? With it! you will be the only power you need to pursue your goals.
The only way to do that is for it to be your lifestyle, and it needs ultimate commitment. With the right mindset and attitude, you can unlock your true potentials. Stay focused and think out of the box. I'm not here to teach you. I'm here to share my story and to guide you. Your life is your own responsibility. All the hard work, you have to do yourself. But remember this. Failing doesn't mean quitting. It means try again and again and again. When you don't try, that's when you fail. And that's on nobody but yourself. It's a simple math, but a complicated process. And as the saying goes, a good day is a good day, and a bad day is a good story. Thank you, everyone, for coming. <laughs>